chapter eight, quantities and chemical reactions. This is this is one of my favorite parts of chemistry. I'm skipping eight point one. I can't remember why, but it had something to do with I thought it was dumb. <laughs> um, eight point two, making pancakes. I wish I had had pancakes for breakfast. Um, so here's a new word for you, stoichiometry. Go okay, right there. Stoichiometry is um, studying the relationships between chemical quantities in a balanced chemical equation. So I started out with five grams of this, and how many grams of product am I going to end up with? So this is very practical in terms of um, chemical engineering, where they're producing chemicals from raw materials. Um, and so we need to know how much, how much starting material do we need to produce, you know, five tons of sodium phosphate or whatever we need. So these sorts of calculations that we're going to learn here are really, really, really important. Okay? So, you know, if you're having to pick and choose what you figure out because you have a limited amount of time, this is something that's worth your attention. Okay? Stoichiometry is the study of the relationship between chemical quantities. So we start out by talking about pancakes because when we talk about things that we're familiar with, it makes a lot more sense than when we talk about atoms and elements. So if we are making pancakes, this is a very simple recipe and it's missing some things, so don't try this at home. Um, a cup of flour and two eggs and a half teaspoon of baking powder will get you five pancakes. Okay, And the stoichiometry stuff is a lot like a recipe. So you have to have the right amount of ingredients, and you put them together in the right way, and you get this product. <coughs> so anybody have any problems with that? We even have pictures. Those pancakes are awfully perfectly round in the same size. It's hard to do. So what that recipe tells us is if we have two eggs and enough of everything else, that we could make five pancakes. And so we can, we can make a conversion factor out of that and say that for every two eggs, provided we have enough of the other stuff, we could make five pancakes. A lot of times when you're cooking, you, you have one ingredient that you're going to run out of, right? And for pancakes, it's probably the eggs, you know. Maybe you had the, the boys... At a, at a sleepover, and you've got 10 teenage boys that are hungry, and so you start making pancakes, and you keep making pancakes and making pancakes until you run out of something. You run out of the eggs, and you can't make pancakes anymore, right? It doesn't matter if you've got more flour. You can't make pancakes without eggs. And so we, we can use this relationship to calculate, well, if I have so many eggs, how many pancakes could I make? <coughs> so what if you have eight eggs? and plenty of everything else, how many pancakes could you make? Well, one way to do this is to think, well, I've got eight eggs, and I can get five pancakes for every two eggs. So I do the math, and I come up with 20 pancakes. So it's just like dimensional analysis stuff. Exactly. It is dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis can help you in the kitchen. If you really want to do this. If you really want to do this, yes. Well, some of these things are things that you could figure out in your head. But, you know, a lot of times when we're converting or trying to do a calculation like this, it's easy to get mixed up and multiply instead of divide, or divide instead of multiply, get things upside down. If you can think it through like this, um, and, and the place I run into this most often is, in, in real life, is doing like a mileage calculation. You know, you want to drive to Minnesota, and it's 2,500 miles, and gas is $4 a gallon, and you get 20 miles per gallon. Okay, you've got a whole string of conversion factors there. 
do you multiply by the 4? Do you divide by the 4? What do you do? Well, think of what the units are doing, dimensional analysis, and you can calculate that very, very easily. So this is a conversion factor that we got from the recipe. Two eggs yielded five pancakes, which means if we have eight eggs, we can get 20 pancakes. So we